everyone welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing some resin in this new mold that I got I wanted to go ahead and test it out it is a um, tea light holder like altar plate um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do black mica in all of the little details and then red glitter on top so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all of the little details with black mica and I am going to be using my let's resin black mica powder you can use any mica powder that you want um, you can even use these little bags that you get for fairly cheap on amazon but um, this is how my black comes because i use a lot of it so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and a majority of this video is going to be with just music and you seeing what i'm doing because once i get my gloves on and we start working with resin i'll have to wear my mask and um it's really hard to hear what I'm saying when I have my mask on and um, my gloves get all sticky and all of that. So I really can't be messing with my phone after that. But I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of my mica portions and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like once I got all the mica in. So I just did all the little outlines and the big star in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix up my resin and we're going to use some different red glitters that I have and see what it turns out like.
Okay, now it's time to demold. It's still a little bit warm from the, the heating mat, but I think we can go ahead and pull it out. nice it's quite textured because the mold is textured I was wondering how that was going to turn out I don't know if you can see that it has a bunch of little bubbles and stuff in it so it's quite textured and makes it look kind of old so I think it turned out really nice my, um, the star here looks a little more like vintagey because I had a hard time getting the mica to stay because this is more of like a, it's not like a mass market mold. It's more of a mold like you would make out of a mold maker is what it feels like to me. It feels different than like these mass market make, um, molds. So this is what I made with the extra, and these are just little beads. So I'll add these to my, my stash, and when I decide that I need them, then um, I'll pull them out. I use these um, this mold for like the legs on my coffins. So if I make a red coffin, I'll have four legs um, to add to that. But I think it turned out really nice. It's not as sparkly as I had hoped because all of the texture, but it still looks really cool. So I'm quite pleased with it. It is, like I said, it is still warm, so I want to make sure that I get it laid down flat. Um, I hope that you guys like this kind of little craft with me tutorial type of video, and I will see you next time. Bye!